All right, Aries Leo season. This is for Aries moon, Aries rising, and Aries sun, okay? Now, Leo season is from July 22nd to August 22nd. It's in your fifth house of the fun, the creativity, doing your hobbies. One of the Aries in my life is a principal and a teacher in education. So he gets summers off. And so um, that's perfect if you're, if you're one of the uh, people who gets summers off. You can really enjoy the fifth house of fun, family, creativity, enjoying your hobbies, enjoying your sports, enjoying your side gigs, entrepreneurship, all sorts of things like that. It's very much about being creative and having fun. There's a little bit of luck with you, Aries, too, when it comes to games of chance. Mm -hmm. If you get invited to a poker thing or if your friends invite you to go play the slot machines or if you just feel an inkling, I should stop at the store there and maybe grab a scratch and win. I'm feeling lucky. You should do that, Aries, because you just never know. Now, the full moon is on July 21st in Capricorn. It's an ending or a culmination of something having to do with your career. Whether you've been waiting to hear about a promotion, about a move in your career, about something happening, the information gets full it shines light it culminates in the full moon okay there's an ending there of sorts it's a chapter completion phase for you when it comes to career aries okay and your fame recognition you know and so we also have uh some 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 stuff happening in your sixth house of um health so you're you're going to be concerned about health aries in in leo season july 22nd to august 22nd uh, health is a big thing and also just making your routine, your day to day as easy and fun as possible, smooth, efficient, that kind of thing. But there'll be some health stuff that you'll want to communicate. You do have a lot of communication energy, so it'll be easy for you to find the right professional, the right natural path, the right whatever you need to do for the health and the work. OK, and to make things tickety boo and efficient in your life, Aries. Now, Saturn's gone retrograde backwards in Pisces. This is a time where you're reflecting on your inner health, the 12th house, your inner mental stuff, right? Like going within a little more and dig digging a little deeper than just beneath the surface. Um, looking at the deep issues and what's going to make you happy moving forward, Aries. This can be a very spiritual time for you too, seeking spiritual or holistic alternative treatments, energy healing, spiritual mediumship could be a thing. All sorts of things about the woo-woo will say, uh, other ways, uh, alternative ways of healing. And there is still a little bit of weirdness with Uranus in Taurus in your second house. You just never know whenever some stuff happens with Uranus, the rebel the shake up we never know what uranus is going to do but it's in your second house of income which means that you could possibly aries use technology to gain more income in some way whether that's writing an ebook passive income creating a group uh you know things like that aries um finding ways to make money through the internet that's one thing it could be about your crypto investments too. There could be a lot of volatility here with Uranus in Taurus in your uh, second house of your investments, your crypto accounts, especially technology investments like crypto and things like that. Anything to do with technology, Uranus kind of runs. So you just never know, you know, be aware that there could be some shakeups, ups and downs, things like that. It might be a good time to talk to your financial advisor and, and, and take a look at that, Aries. All right, so with that, let's take a look at your cards. With the power of eight chakra lenormand okay aries let's see for you home and family yeah we've got um the fifth house of kids you know you're spending time at home um home is important to you the kids the family some of you could hear that you're becoming a grandparent or a parent if you're able to have kids um but there's communications at the home and family and actually i do see two indications in your astrology chart of home and family i mean sorry of communications the birds one plus two equals three third house of communications in astrology mars the go go juice planet the physicality which mars runs you aries is in gemini this is a gemini card gemini is talking ideas 
talking communication at the home could be very beneficial to you here jupiter the good luck planet is also in gemini bringing you some spiritual communication as well some spiritual luck uh expansion in your communication at home so if there's any time to be able to communicate with your spouse your kids your parents anybody at the house roommate this is a good time to do it all right and remember the fifth house is all about having fun aries don't forget to have fun now, if you want your own reading, come see me at www.themoontree.org. Helping you navigate life's energies. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.